In the spring of 1953, I was elected to my present office. I felt that it was my duty to respond to the unexpected call. What I could hope to do was to serve the aims of the United Nations to the limits of my capacity. My only claim now is to have tried to do so. Whether my service has met the needs of this difficult period in the life of the organization and indeed the world is for others to decide. Whether the direction I've tried to give to the development of the office of the Secretary General is the best one will have to be judged in the perspective of time. Your decision is in these respects an encouragement for the future and a highly valued expression of confidence. Nobody, I think, can accept the position of Secretary General of the United Nations, knowing what it means, except from a sense of duty. Nobody, however, can serve in that capacity without a sense of gratitude for a task as deeply rewarding as it is exacting, as perennially inspiring as sometimes it may seem discouraging. The significance of what this organization stands for as a venture in progress towards an international community living in peace under the laws of justice transforms works for its aims from a duty into a privilege. Political factors yet to be overcome or outgrown may put narrow limits on the progress possible at a particular juncture. We may believe that the United Nations needs basic reforms. We may even share the view held by some that its task ultimately will have to be taken over by a body with a different structure. However, we cannot doubt that the main direction of the work of the United Nations, as determined by the purposes and principles of the Charter, indicates the path which the world must follow in order to preserve the achievements of the past and to lay basis for a happier future. This is true whatever setbacks may follow. If a mountain wall is once climbed, later failures do not undo the fact that it has been shown that it can be climbed. In this sense, every step forward in the pioneer effort of this organization inevitably widens the scope for the fight for peace.